So the first question is, what is awe? And um, to answer that question, you can do a couple of different things. You can ask people, tell me a story about awe, right? Tell me, where did you experience awe? What was it like? Uh, just, to, just tell a personal story, as people have been doing for thousands of years. So we actually did that. Yang Bai and I and a variety of collaborators, collaborators asked people from 26 countries around the world who uh, really come from every religious tradition, different kinds of economic conditions, different kinds of political circumstances, different, um, different sorts of uh, ideas about the self and gender. And, and what we find is what I call the eight wonders of life. That as Jeff said, there is so much awe to have in the world to experience on a daily basis. And the eight wonders of life point us to where we can find awe. The first source of awe is other people, their courage, their strength, their kindness, uh, their, their, how they move us. Uh, here's a story that came from Ireland where a woman uh, wrote about watching my daughter who was born with bilateral clubfoot dance in a ballet recital for the first time. I was filled with awe. I was in the audience with my mother my little girl was dancing on stage. I had tears in my eyes. My heart felt like it was going to burst with pride with flashbacks from when she was born with her feet upside down. So many rich sources of awe from everyday courage and strength and kindness. It is everywhere around us. Second source of awe is nature. Uh, and you all know that you go to various sources of nature in your lives, uh, big, you know, the Central Park or the Rockies or whatever the case may be. This is a wonderful little story from Russia uh, from our study of 26 cultures. Five years ago, I was collecting mushrooms in the forest and I bumped into an uncommon hole in the ground. Around it, all the trees stood in a circle as if gazing into a hole. And people often out in experiences of nature feel like everything is alive and connected uh, and the like. Uh, music is a common source of awe. Uh, you know, concerts and favorite singers and favorite songs from your childhood or when you were falling in love. This is a story from Switzerland. I was around Christmas. I went to a monastery, it was snowing outside. The church was dimly lit and I could hear these Gregorian chants. Uh, and it gave me a sense that I was part of something larger than myself. Um, we often find awe in religious feeling and spirituality, which is a very deep study uh, in not only uh, religious studies, but psychological science. Uh, we found this in our study of 26 cultures. Uh, an individual from Singapore who had a common experience of falling to the ground as if hit by the spirit. He was blinded by light. And suddenly he felt like he was deeply loved by uh, the divine or God. A couple final sources of awe is uh, big ideas, epiphanies. Maybe this conference will give you a big idea about how to reorganize your work, right? Uh, this is one of my favorites because I love museums and I'm a more... I'm an evolutionary type. It comes from Japan, uh, a person reporting on awe. I was 12 years old. I went into a science museum and I suddenly understood the idea of evolution of biology. I realized that humans are one of many species. And then he goes on to observe, but not particularly advantageous compared to other creatures. Um, and then finally, very interestingly, life, the birth of life, uh, and then death. Uh, are very common experiences worldwide around awe. And um, in the picture you can see um, in, uh, if you go to the recording, I show a picture of my younger brother and me uh, when we were about 10 and 12. I lost my brother to colon cancer a couple of years ago, brutal disease, tough way to go. Uh, and it was this opening and this, this sense of awe and wonder about the great questions of life and death. Very often, when we really encounter uh, deep trauma, losing people, the mind turns to wonder and to make sense of it all, uh, and often feels awe. Uh, 